a controversial plan by Israel to allow Palestinians from the occupied West Bank to use one of its two main airports to fly abroad is gaining momentum. The plan could include permitting Palestinians from the besieged Gaza Strip too. The force behind the proposal is Amir Asi, former Israeli Port Authority employee and currently an advisor to several airlines. I initiated the idea. I will operate Turkish and Jordanian planes from Ramon Airport. The only outlet for the Palestinians is Queen Alia Airport in Amman, Jordan. But first, they have to travel through Israeli-run border crossing, which operates under limited hours and is usually packed with travelers. The Palestinian Authority came out opposing the plan, demanding the return of the airport of Qalandia, also known as Jerusalem Airport. But that didn't sway Asi. Palestinian officials have not yet come up with a categorical rejection of this issue. Their objection is somewhat, let's say, soft. They say they oppose because no one negotiated it. The idea, Asi says, has been in the work for quite some time. He is in close communication with Israeli officials. For more than a year and a half, we have been knocking on the doors to open Ben-Gurion Airport to the Palestinians. But due to the operational pressures and its capacity at Ben-Gurion Airport, we found another alternative by chance. It came out before Biden's visit to the region. The initiative is part of a series of economic measures aimed at making life easier for the Palestinians, a focus of U.S. President Joe Biden, who pushed for the agenda during his visit last month. Head of the National Campaign for Palestinian Freedom of Movement with Dignity, Talat Alawi, insists that it's his right to move freely. International law guarantees my right to travel from any point I want around the clock and at the lowest cost. If you don't provide me with this right, I want my own airport. And according to Asi, chartered airplanes full of Palestinian travelers could start taking off this month. Aside from political reasons, Palestinians opposed to the idea of flying out of Ramon Airport say it's too far. It's about a four-hour drive through the desert from the occupied West Bank. But those in favor argue it's simply the best option they have for now. In the end, the Palestinian citizen has the right to decide for themselves. No one decides for him. Turkey's popularity among Palestinians, Asi says, was the reason why it was chosen as a first destination. Ramon International Airport stood almost empty since it opened in 2019. But if everything goes as planned, Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza will soon inject life into the facility and make it their gate to the world. Mohammed Al-Qasim, TRT World, outside Elat, Israel.